This is the all new Ultra case. This case comes with two pieces, a back and a front. On the back, there's a cover that is covering the built-in air tag inside. All you have to do is pull it open with your fingers, and if you have any issues, there's a slot on the side that you can use a screwdriver or a pry tool to pry it apart. Before you begin using your AirTag and setting it up on your phone, please remove this cover that's covering the battery. This prevents it from turning on during transport. Once removed, test the AirTag by placing that black wire on top of the battery. You should hear a chime. With your order, you'll receive a strip of heat tape. Use a small piece of this to place and secure that black wire on top of the battery. Save the strip for later as you'll need it when you change batteries. Just to double check to make sure everything's working, bring your phone close to the AirTag and the setup process should begin. All you have to do now is line up the rails on the front and the back and give it a firm press. It'll lock in place and it'll be ready to go for use. And don't forget, that you have a built-in magnetic ND filter, just like the Pro version. Also, pro tip, you can use your thumb to roll out that ND filter. Now you probably won't change the battery more than once a year, but I'm gonna walk you through the process for when that time comes. You'll need a screwdriver similar to this, a flathead standard size. And on the right side of the case, you'll see a slot on the bottom. You'll use this slot to pry apart the two pieces. Simply press in the screwdriver and carefully twist, being extra careful not to damage your case. A screwdriver too small or too big will damage it. Once apart, you'll want to remove the negative and positive wires from the battery and place them on the new battery. Remember, heat tape is securing the positive and negative wire, so we'll, we'll want to remove that first. I found it easiest to put in the battery backwards so the positive will be on the top and that's how you can put on your positive wire. Once you have the positive wire secured on the positive end of the battery, simply rotate it to the negative side and press it into place. Lastly, you'll use that heat tape to place the negative wire on the negative end of the battery. And like before, line up the rails and lock it into place. If you have any questions, please reach out. I'm always happy to help. Thank you.